Hello everybody, what is up, Prof Toast here. So, after messing around with, uh, end up finding a, what is it, this variable voltage kind of adapter that you had to check out, if I can get it. Basically multiple tips, finally found the right one, set up the right positive and negative and everything, and got it, finally got my Famicom to work. Of course, I'm going to have to find a different one because, as you can see, I don't know if I can do this correctly, but the cord is rather short. Alright, so let's go ahead and plug this bad boy in. If I can do this. Sorry, I'm actually attempting to do this one-handed. Which usually I don't do because I have everything set up. But for the sake of this, if I can get it plugged in correctly. Alright. So let's see, one thing I found out that the microphone actually transmits through the TV, but let's go ahead and mess around with, it was a Fantasy Zone 2 by Sunsoft. Surprisingly it's in English, so. Alright, so, funny part is, you may think, because normally the American Nest is on Channel 3, which I believe we're on right now, but for some reason, Japanese translates different with kind of chances, because you can see, Get a slight dark of a screen, but nothing so. Found if you actually go to channel 95, then switch it on, boom, it works. Let's see if we can get any volume here. So, yeah, one weird part, I don't know if this is going to interfere, but hello. But as you can see, actually I don't know if this is even transferring through, but basically you can talk into the second controller, basically with the microphone. Still got to work on getting all the tape off, but you can basically talk into here, and it'll basically go through a TV speaker, which I thought was pretty tripped out, because when I was sitting there putting it into the thing, I'm trying to get it to make sounds, but, but you can basically kind of turn off the sensitivity with this little switch. So, I mean, if you don't like it, if it annoys you, which I'm assuming that's, they didn't really realize that, so that's why they taped it over, but I don't know. But anyways, so, let's go ahead and see if we can play a bit of Fantasy Zone. And I do believe the system froze. Hold on. Ah, okay, hold on, hold on. Classic, blowing your cartridge out. Boom! Works. Alright. So this is going to be very awkward playing with one hand, but this one's pretty simple. Kind of just move up and down. You got your B button for regular missiles, your... Oh shit! And I just died. Most likely because I am playing with one hand. As you can see, most of this is actually like normal like English, not a lot of it's Japanese. Not gonna really attempt to shoot right now just because I'm trying to do this one handed. Ah, oh, fuck it, I'm taking out the penguins. So there's that game. Let's go ahead, I'll even show you guys the. What was it? Japanese version of Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Alright, so I figured since I might as well show you guys some of these games, we'll go ahead and try out this weird educational one I doubt I'm gonna be able to do anything with but yeah so if we can get it to work properly it's having issues with this one I don't know this one was kinda had a bit of rattling to it so I don't know if it's in the best condition but ah fine we'll blow you since you seem to enjoy that Ah, Mike Tyson, why you hate me? Come on, this game's actually made the same year I was born, so I thought it was kinda cool. Ah, uh, are you being serious? It worked perfect earlier. And of course, now that I'm recording, you're not gonna work. There we go. Let's see if we can do this without the... Yay! First time I tried this, the game glitched out. But as you can see, it's actually in English. I thought that was pretty weird.
I got him at the black guy. He looks kind of... I don't know if it's just the Japanese version, but he kind of looks creepy on my screen. Just saying. But yeah, so far it's pretty much the same thing as the American version. At least plays the same way. And I don't know how well this is going to be doing on... Doing it one-handed. Granted, the part where I had to go grab the game real quick probably will most likely be edited out. I didn't think about it at the time. I was like, oh wait, I can do that. And like, this guy is like ridiculously easy. Oh, I think he's actually gonna try something now. There we go. Hook! Hook! Yeah, and I, of course I suck doing one-handed. Well, yeah, so that one works pretty good. The only one I actually haven't tested out was this one by Namcom. I don't even know what the name of this game is. But, I guess we'll give it a try. Let's see if it wanna works on the first go. But, uh, does it wanna be my friend? Of course not. Then again, I don't know how long these games have been sitting around for. Really help me blowing on that doesn't sound too annoying on the mic. Alright, hey, we got it to work. Oh god, I have no clue what any of this is gonna be. Let's do lesson one! Oh. I don't know what I'm choosing. I guess I'll start with this one. I got no clue what's going on right now. Of course, then again, I guess if I could read Japanese, this would probably be working a lot better. Is this just a surprise that this actually seems to go pretty well on... Like my 32 inch TV. It's probably going to go in for the RF adapter and not like AV plugs. Okay, let's see the game. Let's see, one, two, oh, okay, I get that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so that one's teaching how to count. I'm assuming the other ones. I don't know what the first one's supposed to. And god dang it. Yeah, as you can tell, this game isn't. Okay, no, what? Let's just reset you. I wonder if lesson two is any better. So as you can see this game's yeah, I can't really do much of this since I don't speak Japanese. But anyways, I do hope you guys enjoyed this. I just figured I'd give you guys a short little update on whether I got the Famicom to work. So I did probably get figure out a different longer cord now that I know how the correct voltages work. As you can see my floor is a complete mess with my PSP was messing around with the AV cables I bought for it. Wires everywhere due to recording. And of course you can see my Super Nintendo N64, my PS4 and 360. We somewhere up on the shelf because I don't use that. Oh yeah anyways I'm not here to show you guys my consoles. Anyways Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.